Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan, the YouTube channel that's not hosted by a sociopath, a narcissist, or a grifter. Instead, you got me, a simple music producer and philosopher. So a couple weeks back, I made a video with you guys sharing the extreme amount of hate we've been receiving on Facebook for the past couple of years by pretty much just simple, non-judgmental posts of like food that we eat. We're not saying anything, hey, go vegan, or if you're not vegan, you're an a-hole or something like that. But yet yeah, people found it their duty to just spread all sorts of bigoted hate on us. So anyway, I made a video showing you what we've been dealing with. And um, as I mentioned in that video, we have ended that cycle of hate by not allowing um, non-followers. You have to be a follower in order to comment on our videos now, any of our posts on Facebook. And it's been great. It's been totally awesome. However, I made one exception. I reposted my video that I shared with you guys here on YouTube. I uploaded it to Facebook and I allowed everyone to comment on it because I was really curious to see how these hateful meat eaters, if they were to watch the video, and I think a few did, I want to see why they feel it's their business, why it's their duty to hate on us for posting pictures of like food that we eat and we're not being judgmental. I want to see why they feel it's their entitlement to be hateful bigot. So let's see what I found. Before that, let me show you the original post that I made my video about a couple weeks ago that triggered so many people, about a hundred people, this simple veggie pizza using Trader Joe's vegan friendly pre-made pizza dough, some vegan bolognese sauce, some nutritional yeast, spinach, mushrooms, and olives. Quick and easy and Ryan loves it. Hashtag pizza, hashtag vegan pizza gram. Yeah. Yeah. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it says, yeah, you got to go vegan. If you're not a vegan, you're a complete a-hole and a disgusting human being who has no business being on this planet. Nope, didn't say anything like that. Just again, simple post sharing something we ate. Again, we made no proclamation like, this is the greatest food ever created. We were bestowing it upon humanity. Everyone come and worship this great looking meal that we made. No, just something we ate one day and it was no big deal. So anyway, let's jump back to the present here. So I'm gonna show you all the many hateful responses we got from hateful mediators on Facebook responding to my video about all this hate we get from mediators on Facebook and showing how it's completely unwarranted and unjustified and just plain flat out bigotry. So let's watch these people try to gaslight us all as to why they feel that it's their business, their right to be hateful bigots towards vegans. No, any sane person, i.e. the majority of the population, hates you. This post just reaffirms your warped perception of the world. Get therapy, FFS. Warped perception of the world? Did you watch the video? I mean, what is warped about presenting how we make simple, non-judgmental posts, often just posting things like that we ate in a day, making no big deal about it, no judgment, and showing how we get tons of evil hate. How is that a warped perception? That's not a perception. That's a true fact about our reality, our experience on Facebook. But you just want us to ignore that somehow, and you think the whole world hates us, or the majority of the population hates us. Now, I think you're just projecting, bro. You're just trying to project onto the world the way you look at people that you see to be different different from you and then you react in a hateful way. That's on you, bro. So if anyone needs therapy and learning how to coexist with people who are not exactly like you, that wouldn't be me. All right, another one. Yes, it is. It is because logic of vegan are so dumb. Mm, yep, you got us there. Logic of vegan are so dumb. Yes, our logic uh, as vegan are so dumb. I mean, we don't even have any logic. We don't even have any grammar. We just blabble and blah, 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 and just say a bunch of nonsense. What are you talking about? I mean, logic of vegan, it's really not a, a hard, logical, difficult, logical argument. If it's even that, it's simply a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. So you're saying that's dumb. You're saying it's dumb to care about animals not being exploited, not being being killed. That's like a crazy, wacky, zany thought to have compassion for animals. I mean, if that's dumb, I'll step up and claim the title as the most stupid person in the whole world. So some of these comments, Facebook's algorithm found to be so offensive, they are hidden. This one says, then stop being so ugly and aggressive with your evangelizing already. 
I mean, it's so ironic that these people have the nerve to call vegans or vegan logic are stupid, that they're stupid enough to think that our post about a pizza that we ate one day is being aggressive and ugly evangelizing. Again, did you even read the post? Did you even watch the video? You're just projecting your own fantasy of what you think we're about. You're not addressing the reality of who we are and what our content actually is. I mean, far from us being the awful people, you're an awful person for stereotyping, for generalizing, for using these stereotypes as your basis of hate and bigotry towards people like us that haven't done anything to warrant it. Here's another one that Facebook had hidden. Your posts also bait and attack meat eaters, and you set these posts to public. You aren't trying to share with other vegans. You're trying to insult meat eaters to guilt and convert people to your pathetic cult. Just eat your food and STFU. You do you and let everyone else do them, you guilt-tripping narcissist. So I'm the narcissist, really. I mean, if there's anyone doing a bunch of gaslighting here, it sir isn't me, Mr. Montgomery Bird. I mean, let's just unpack what he said here because it's just so completely detached from reality. It just reflects a person who is completely delusional. Your post bait and attack meat eaters. No, what about this post in question about the pizza that we ate has anything to do with attacking anyone, meat eaters or anyone. It's simply us sharing what we ate on a particular day and posting it for people that follow Happy Healthy Vegan to see and enjoy. It's unfortunate, as I talked about in my video from a couple weeks ago, that the Facebook alg algorithm loves to enrage people and posts our content to people just like Montgomery here who will get enraged and triggered. That's why Mark Zuckerberg is a billionaire. So unlike this complete gaslit post from Montgomery, we're not trying to insult meat eaters or to guilt trip and convert people to our pathetic cult. Again, we're just sharing our food. How is that insulting to anyone? Unless you're just instantly triggered when you see food that doesn't have any meat or dairy on it. That's not on me. I can't help it. You're a precious snowflake there in Montgomery. Just eat your food and S the F up. Really? So um, we are, again, second class citizens. You guys can post all your meat eating food, all your Thanksgiving turkey and all that. That's totally cool, but vegans are second class citizens with fewer rights than you meat eaters and we just need to be quiet, sit in our corner, corner mind our place, and God forbid we post any pictures of food with any with no judgmental combative text to accompany it, pictures of food that don't have any meat, dairy, or eggs. Yeah, that makes so much sense, you gaslighting narcissists. And there's some people here like Tom Schmitz who believe that because there are some hateful, a-hole, annoying vegans out there that say hateful things on social media to meat eaters, that makes it perfectly fine for meat eaters to be complete a-holes to all vegans, regardless of whether or not we put out nice, friendly, non-judgmental content, or we put out the hate that triggered these people in the first place. I mean, does that make any sense? It sounds like stereotyping to me. And some of our followers called them out for this pathetic logic. First, we replied back saying the point here is that our content is not hateful, as our video was all about. Generally, just photos of a meal describing said meal. And one of our followers, Joseph, said, hateful vegan posts? We celebrated World Vegan Day, and Karnas showed up in droves to tell us to kill ourselves. I mean, that just sounds downright illegal. That sounds like some kind of criminal threat of some kind or terrorism telling people that they should be killed because of certain beliefs they have about, you know, in this case, animal cruelty and exploitation. I mean, so should vegans use this these threats from meat eaters as our justification to go out into the world and social media and be complete a-holes to them? I mean, it'll be never ending if both sides use that as their justification. I mean, that's just complete absurdity. All this really shows is that there are a-hole vegans and plenty of a-hole non-vegans as well. And just because you're eating potatoes and legumes and grains now instead of meat, dairy, and eggs doesn't mean that you are going to all of a sudden be a great enlightened person if you'd been an a-hole your whole life. So here's one we actually responded to. Andrew Henderson said far fewer omnivores are hateful than vegans. Like where do you get that data? We get hate from omnivores on a daily basis. We don't tell vegans they should eat meat. Um, Are you serious? Have you ever looked through our YouTube or Facebook comments where as many vegans be little omnivores for eating meat and telling not asking us to change? And I responded while there is a possibility that what you said is true, that isn't what our page does and in fact the very opposite 
opposite is happening. My lovely 55-year-old wife posts an innocent photo of her plant-based meal only to have all kinds of hate messages replied to her. She doesn't even say things like, go vegan on them. There is nothing hateful about this page. So once again, they're not referring to any specific act of hate or judgment that Angie or I made on any of our social media posts. Once again, they're referring to this abstract idea that there are a-hole vegans out there saying all these horrible, mean things, and I'm sure some of it's true. But once again, that doesn't justify stereotyping, generalizing a whole class of people, vegans, as all being like that, and using that as your justification to hate all of us. Graham Thompson says, don't post your vegan crap and people will not comment on it. Um, why can't we post our vegan crap? It's on our personal Facebook page. Pamela says, don't post crap comments on pages you don't want to see. Makes total sense. No one's forcing you to comment on our content. And I replied back, so vegans don't have the right to post on their personal accounts. Please explain how vegans are second class citizens. Basically, why do we have fewer free speech rights than you meat eaters do? Why do I need to sit silently and not post on media while the rest of the world posts blissfully all day. But still, Graham and all the others have failed to address the main point of my video. The main question I asked was, what gives you the right, what gives you the justification to post all these mean, hateful comments on our Facebook posts? Why? I mean, there's nothing hateful or judgmental that we're saying. Why are you doing that? Why do you think you're justified? And the only thing I'm hearing is, well, I've seen other vegans make really mean, hateful posts on social media. So I have the right to do that now because your kind is inherently bad because you know, I've seen these bad people out there. So I know all of you guys are bad. Yeah, this comment we got totally proves my point. Usually it's the other way around. Vegans are attracted to barbecue pictures like Moss to Light and go on people's nerves. Welcome to the internet. And as we said, please don't stereotype. We don't do that. Do you understand that? We don't do that. But as we have shown, plenty of hateful and ignorant meteors are attracted to our content. What do you have to say about them? And I said, oh, and thanks for proving the point of my video. And I just want to point out for the record, me and Angie don't go onto meat eaters' posts of their turkeys and meat and dairy like that and shame them and say mean, hateful things. We just don't do that. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I intentionally left the ability for mediators and non-followers to comment on the video because I really wanted to see if they had anything to say. Would anyone actually apologize or feel bad or, or something other than all this gaslighting and fantasies about how all vegans are a-holes and we need to start this war because vegans are mean and I was sorely disappointed, uh, just more of the same nonsense that we got in the first place. But anyway, this will be the last video where we allow non-followers to comment because I said, as soon as we found that ability to do that in Facebook, it's been awesome not having to see this nonsense and hate on a regular basis anymore. Just comments from you followers. The sad part, point is it's far fewer comments, but I'd rather take like five or so like positive or at least non-hateful comments than 80 to 100 comments like what we've been seeing here. So anyway, anyway guys, leave your questions and comments down below. Hopefully yours will be a little nicer than we saw here. Let me know what your experiences have been on social media. And if you have received hate from non-vegans, hateful non-vegans like this, and if they've ever give you, gaslighted you these particular reasons that I've been talking about here today. So like, share this video, become a channel member, and until next time, remember, don't suck being vegan.